Hey guys, welcome to Kingdom Influencer. Um, today I am about to be a little vulnerable with you guys. Um, share something that I have been through, and also, also explain a, a dream that I had and just what happened to me a few minutes ago. A few minutes ago, I was praying and the Lord took me to feeling what his daughters are feeling, right? We know that we are all in the same boat. I like saying that we are all in the same boat. We are going to the same destination and that is kingdom marriage, you know, the fulfillment of that promise in our lives. But like I always say to my friends, we are on different part of the boat, so we will experience different things. And God has been giving me messages and God has been allowing me to feel or to experience what other people have been going through. And today I was my heart was just heavy in prayer and I was sad because um the Lord um showed me that that is how most of his daughters are feeling right now. Um I'm just going to make this dream very short. I had a dream and it was played twice to me. Twice in the sense that the first time I had a dream about it, I saw a lady that had to fight against an animal. And after she fought this animal, a guy came up to her and said to her, you are my wife, I want to marry you. And I know that in the dream they got together and after some time they broke up. So... I woke up from this dream and I was like, Lord, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? What is going on? I went back to bed and I had the same dream. But this time I was that girl and I had to fight off a tiger. And when I fought this tiger, like I was calling out for help, I was uh, calling for the people to help, but no one would help me. So I knew that this was something I had to do. And I lured the tiger into this yard. And when we got to this yard, I saw that there was a guy that was actually like close to this tiger. So I was like, dude, kill your animal, kill this tiger. You know that we are in danger. And he said he couldn't. He said the connection between them, he just couldn't. But he knew that this tiger had to die. So um, as he went to go say bye to the tiger, I saw a gun. A gun that on two opposite sides were... On two opposite sides, they were like, you know where the bullets come out of. Uh, But on one side, it was long. It was like a shotgun. And on the other side, it was like a normal gun. So as he said bye to the tiger, he gave me the sign for me to kill the tiger. So I shot it from the shotgun side and nothing came out. It was just that noise, you know, that bullet gun noise. And the tiger got so furious. He got so upset and he was about to go and attack. I'm not I'm not sure if it was the guy but I believe it was the guy or it could have been someone else but I believe it was the guy he was about to go attack the guy so I took that gun and I hit him as I hit this tiger he like fell back and I could see almost like darkness around him he fell back and I could see darkness around me around him and the uh, a voice said to me get the gun and shoot him from the other side so I shot him as I shot him I saw like liquids you know like how you spray a water gun that's how it was like liquids and I was like what is going on this dream is so weird and this gun is weird but as that happened I don't know if you guys have seen the movie I think it's called wanted or most wanted where um Angelina Jolie and just the other people they shoot this bullet and the bullet like curves this bullet goes to wherever the person is hiding so that happened so after I shot that liquid it I could see something else that followed and that thing was going wherever the tiger was hiding wherever the tiger was running and as soon as it hit his body the tiger started burning up so um as the tiger started burning up he became like three he was not no longer one but he was like three different beasts uh but we could lock him up um in that yard and everyone came out and we were just celebration it was just we were just celebrating and just something that i forgot in both dreams myself and the other girl we had an event to go to we had somewhere that we had to go to but there were things stopping us and this animal, this beast, was one of the things. So um, after that whole thing, the guy came to me. And then he was like, I want to marry you. You are my wife. And I immediately said, no, 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 no. 
I said no because I said I know the story. I've seen it be I've seen it before and I know how it's gonna end. So I said no. When I said no, I heard a voice from heaven and the voice said, This is for my kingdom. This is for my kingdom. It's all about my kingdom. It's all about my kingdom. And as the voice said that, um, I got the revelation that the guy was was watching, was watching how I was moving, was watching how I carried myself. He saw how I fought against that animal and he got the confirmation that I was his wife. But fear of what I had lived or what I had seen made me reject what this guy was saying. So I woke up, I asked God for revelation, I spoke to a friend about it, I kept asking God, I spoke to my mom about it. Um, I actually had this dream yesterday, and right after this dream, I had a beautiful encounter with the Lord, I had a beautiful encounter with some people that the Lord had connected me to. Um, I had that encounter, and this morning, the Lord just, just, he just wrecked me he just wrecked me in the sense that he told me what the dream meant and what he wanted to say to his children um many of us have been in situations where we met a guy and we thought this guy was the one and we prayed we waged war we fought and Then it was revealed later on that this guy wasn't the one or the guy did something and you felt like you wasted your time. You felt like you wasted your time naturally, in the natural, and you wasted time spiritually. You wasted your strength spiritually and you are just tired. Let me tell you guys what happened to me. So um, I was in love with this guy. All right, I was in love with this guy, and I thought I really believed that he was the one for me. We dated for quite a while, but as we were dating our our relationship was wasn't always the easiest. I remember um him breaking up with me, and I just prayed to God, I binded every demon that I could bind, I fasted, and you know. I put in so much effort spiritually. Um, We got together. Things were fine, you know. And then after a while, we broke up. And then I was in another relationship after some time. And it was as if it was the same thing. Um, I believe that this guy was the one as well. I, I binded. I did whatever until the Lord had released me from that relationship. So after those experiences, I think for me, what really takes a toll on me is when I invest myself spiritually into something. So after those experiences, um, when God started speaking to me about kingdom spouses and how they are supposed to be, I was like, Lord, you know, I believe that with my kingdom spouse, I won't have to fight. I won't have to do anything things will just be smooth things will just be smooth so every time I got a scent or every time someone told me to pray for my kingdom spouse because he was being attacked or something I was like you know what I can't do this again I just can't do this again I can't like if he's a man of God let him pray for himself he has a relationship with God at the end of it all like hello this is like kingdom marriages right so both of us have a relationship with god so i was like nah 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 no no and this morning and then you know it has been a struggle you know sometimes i'm just like oh lord i don't want to pray for him but i will pray for him and this lord and this morning god revealed to me that that's exactly what the dream the, the the dream meant you know um, I have moved past that, you know. There are days where the enemy still tries to fight me with it, but I have really moved past that. I have become smarter and wiser in that area. But um, what I got from it is that there are a lot of my sisters that are going through that, that 
you have been through certain situations where you have given your all, you gave yourself physically, you gave yourself spiritually, you gave your time, you showed this person how much you love them, how much you were invested in this relationship, but the end result was horrible, you know, you were hurt in the process, and at times when God speaks to you concerning your spouse, you just think about everything else that you have been through and what you have to put in this time. And that kind of discourages you, that kind of takes you back. You know, you keep asking yourself, am I really doing it right? Is this really the person? If this were the person, would I be fighting um, this much? Would I be feeling and experiencing what I am experiencing? Um, but what God wants to say to you is that this time it is different, you know, that this time his hand is upon you and that this fight, that this marriage, it will only come through you fighting that you are the one that has been given the capacity to kill this animal, to destroy this demon, to break this curse in your family, to break this curse in your spouse's family. What I got from the dream was that the guy knew he had to leave, but there was something that still kept him there. There was something that still kept him attached to that. You might say my spouse is up and down. My spouse, one minute he's in, one minute he's not. My spouse is with someone else. But from this dream, I got that they know that they're not supposed to be there. They know that they're not supposed to do that. But there is something that keeps them there. Even though they know that it is not good, even though they know that it's not the plan of God, something is keeping them there. And in the dream, the fact that I had been given the capacity and that I killed that thing. It was God saying that I have given you this capacity. I have given you this mental. You are the one called for this. And God was saying that, remember everything that you are doing, it is for my kingdom. It is about your flesh dying. It is about your flesh coming to submission to the spirit and allowing the spirit to reign. It is about ignoring and blocking out everything that makes this flesh speak louder, that makes the natural seem truer than the spiritual. I need you to shut it down. I need you to ignore it. I need you to not pay attention to it and do what I have called you to do. I need you to fight for this relationship. I need you to fight for this man in the spiritual. Not naturally in the spiritual realm. Because it is all about my kingdom. It is for my kingdom. And the Lord reminded me of a scripture in Luke 1, 19-20. In the Passion Translation, it says, Then the angel said, I am Gabriel. I stand beside God himself. He has sent me to announce the good, the good news. But now, since you did not believe my words, you will be stricken, silent, and unable to speak until the day my word has been fulfilled. At their appointed, at, at their appointed time, and a child is born to you. That will be your sign. I remember there was a time the Lord said to me, Jessica, what happened to Zechariah? I need the same thing to happen to you. And I said to the Lord, Lord, what do you mean? He took me to the scripture and he says, I need you to be deaf to what the world is saying. To be blind to what you are seeing in the natural. And to choose your words. Speak only that which I have spoken. Speak only. Only that which I have spoken. And I remembered that when I was going through this difficult time, I blocked out everything that I could see naturally that didn't make sense. I blocked out everything that I could hear that didn't make sense. And I just believed and trusted in the word of God. I only spoke what God had said to me. 
when I was in that situation with one of my boyfriends, the Lord had given me the scripture with one of my exes. And that's what I did. I blocked out everything that people were saying. That people were, when, I, when I saw him with the new girl, when people kept sending me things with him and the new girl, I had to block all of that out. I had to block everything that he was doing that didn't, that didn't align with what God had said to me. And I only spoke positive things. If we read in the scripture, when Zechariah started speaking was when he had said that his son's name will be John. It was when he had spoken what God had said. That appointed time came. And the promise of God was fulfilled. So I just want to encourage you, my sisters, that God has given you a promise. Even my brothers, that God have, has given you a promise concerning marriage. But in the natural, it is not making sense. God is saying, block out all your senses in the natural. Block out all your senses in the natural. And let your spiritual senses speak louder. Shut your mouth. Close your mouth. Don't say anything that is contrary to my word. Don't pay attention to what your eyes are seeing in the natural. Don't pay attention to what your ears are hearing in the natural. Only see what I have shown you. Only think of the things that come from above. The good things. The promises that I have showed you. Feed on that. Let your spiritual senses speak louder. Let your spiritual senses move Louder, bigger, and ignore the natural. And I want you to fight. The Lord is saying, I want that lioness, that lion inside of you to arise. And I want you to speak louder. I want you to roar. I want you to go against that animal. I want you to defeat that animal, that demon. That spirit that is trying to keep you and your partner apart. I want you to fight against that. You have been given that authority. I have chosen you. I have called you. Don't look at what he's doing or what he isn't doing. Right now, the ball is in your court. Right now, you hold the final decision. Will you fight for this or will you leave it? Because I have called you, lioness, arise and come and team up with me. Let me do the work, but I need you to stand in position. I need you to stand in position. Team up with me. Lionesses, team up with me. And defeat this demon. Don't let it come against you and your spouse. For I have called you. You are the one that holds the ball in your court. The ball is in your court right now. And what will you do? My desire is that you fight. My desire is that you remember that it's all about the kingdom. It's all about the kingdom. It doesn't make sense to your flesh. Your flesh is crying out. Your flesh is hurting. Your heart is broken. But remember, it is all about the kingdom. Like Gabriel said, that he is the one that stands right before God himself. That what he said, it will come to pass. That he is bringing a message to you now. And he is saying right now through me. That that promise that he made for you, that he made to you, it will come to pass. At the appointed time, at the right time, it will come to pass. The Passion Translation of, of the same scripture, it says, But the angel said, I am Gabriel, sent especially to bring you this glad news. But because you won't believe me. You will be able, you will be unable to say a word. Until the day of your son's birth. And every word that I have spoken to you. Will come to pass on time. On God's time. God is saying that my time is near. My time is near, but there are just some things that I need you to deal with. There are just some things that I need you to do right now. Don't delay my time. 
I know that you're hurt. I know that you're tired. I know that you feel like it's the same thing that you are going around in circles. But I want you to remember. The Lord says, I want you to remember that you have been called for this. And the Lord is reminding me now that the gun is the word of God. That that gun was the word of God. The word of God has power. Stick to his word. Go in his word. Use his word. The Bible says that the Bible says in John that in the beginning the word was with God and the word was God. So every time you use the word of God. It is God himself fighting for you. When you speak back those words, it is God fighting for you. It is you shooting that bullet. God is saying, I want you to understand the power of my word. I want you to understand that there is power. Test me. Use my word. Speak into that situation with my word. Find scriptures that go according to what I have promised you and speak it into that situation. Speak it into your husband. Speak it into your future marriage and see what I will do. Team up with me, Lionesses. Team up with my word. And speak only what I am saying. Block your natural senses. Block your natural senses. If you have to block that person for a moment, if you, whatever you have to do in the natural, whatever it is that you have to do in the natural to ensure that in the spiritual, you are strong and that your spiritual senses are on par, then do it. I've been saying the enemy is just fighting so hard. He is fighting this hard because he knows. He knows that you are so close. And right now, some of you, all you have to do is defeat that demon. Defeat this tiger. This tiger that thinks that he is undefeatable. He is about to be destroyed. He is about to bow his knees and recognize that Jesus is Lord. That nothing and no one can fight or stop this assignment. The enemy is so stupid. The devil is so stupid. I don't even understand why he keeps on trying. Because victory is already yours. Victory belongs to Jesus. And Jesus has given you that victory. Victory is yours. Keep pushing. Keep pushing on Thursday. I am going to take some time just to pray, spend the day praying for um, you guys here on YouTube concerning your spouse, concerning your marriage. Um, I have noticed that sometimes God gives me like one or two words that are literally just one or two words that are for people um, that he wants to touch through this channel. So I believe starting from maybe today or even tomorrow, I will just be dropping really quick, quick, quick videos. And on Thursday, I will take the time to be praying for you guys. So if you guys have any prayer requests, um, send them through. Whatever the Lord says to me, I will pass on to you. If he says something, amen. If he doesn't, amen. He is still God. He knows everything and he has already planned out our lives so um i just want to say keep pushing keep pushing don't give up don't look at what you have been through don't look at what what you went through it has all changed now and this time you have the victory this time you have the victory pull down and tear down that thought of no it's the same cycle i'm going through this again i've done this with a i've done this with b why is it different with c it's different with c because christ is with you and this is something that has come straight from the heart of christ so pull down and tear destroy that thought of the enemy and just hold on and keep fighting lionesses arise victory is yours in jesus name
Um beijo. Bye, bye.